I'm recording this on the 4th of July, so if you hear fireworks, I am so sorry. Americans love their explosions. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing some Espresso Tycoon today, and as somebody who worked uh -huh. in a coffee shop in college, boy, am I excited. I'm excited because when I was younger, I used to play Zoo Tycoon. I think there was also an Aquarium Tycoon. There was a whole bunch of different tycoons. I really love the Tycoon series, so this brings me back, and I'm wondering how much these games have changed. Because now I can finally do all the things I wasn't allowed to do when I worked there. And also, <laughs> developers, thank you for a key. I'm sorry in advance. And also, I... Hey, did you hear that? Well, that must be well, Opera GX, the browser well, for gamers and also people with love in their hearts. So when I saw that guy walk past the curtain in the game, I thought that's what was getting his attention. And it kind of looked like a Power Ranger, but I think it was just some biker guy. I was so confused. So let's get the essentials out of the way first. It's easy to switch. Bookmarks, all your settings. It just takes a few clicks and all that stuff is imported. You can also install Chrome extensions and they all work right in Opera GX. But you know what I didn't realize I needed until now? Mods. Silly, amusing mods. Hey, you want every key press to be a fart? Well, now you can. Or how about a Let's Game oh, yeah. It Out mod? A fish oh no, I'd be so distracted from typing, I don't think I'd be able to write anything. Like, good luck staying focused when you have to write a paper with that. Actually made by Opera GX. It makes cute little noises when you type. And Ooh. plays music to drive you nuts. <laughs> Has a moving wallpaper. And also it does this every time you open a tab. Hey there, it's Josh. <laughs> yep. So oh my if you God. open tabs really fast, you can do this. Oh no! Finally, a browser that understands my needs. Now Josh has become a virus. He can mix and match too. Like, let's say you want to hear my stupid voice all the time. You can combine that with the fart key presses. Oh no. And also add some shaders that do different stuff. Like you can do the cracked screen shader and relive the glory days when you accidentally sent your Wiimote through the family flat screen. <laughs> oh no. Or probably more relevant, you can use one of these to change Discord's theme to colors that are more to your liking. Ooh, I like that. Oh, and I can't not talk about my favorite thing in the browser, the GX Corner, which can show you all kinds of glorious gaming info. I love that it shows me what's free right now, and on top of that, you can keep up with what games are coming out soon. Oh, and also if you download through my link, there's a section that'll show you the last three videos that I've released. Oh, and did I mention the browser is completely free? So if this sounds good to you, check out the linky in the description, and you can go mod wild today. And thanks again to Opera G for sponsoring. Okay, first things first. We need a catchy name for our establishment. Oops, all poison. <laughs> Ah, really rolls off the tongue. And, oh, and we can change the font too. Let's see, which one really sells us on the poison angle? Oh yeah, there we go. Why would you ever use any font besides this one? Oh, and we can <laughs> change the logo too. Why is this even an option? And Oh my god, that fits too well, what? Of course we're gonna use it. Okay, ready to begin. So here we are in the start of our cafe. Looks kinda like garbage, doesn't it? I'm surprised that building is health compliant. Like, how did they even let you register a business? A food business in a building like that. That's okay, though. We can spruce it up. All we need to do is select from one of these eight bajillion categories. And let's see which kind of floor speaks to me. Oh, I like stuff with color wheels. That means we can customize. Oh, this looks like it's going to be terrible. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, I love it. What an <laughs> eyesore. And I think I'm going to leave the walls as is because who doesn't like that dual cracked look? Oh, wait, we forgot this floor here. We'll make this floor a little different. Ooh, this one's called Bloody Planks. Well, count me in. Ugh, it's actually- Ugh, that's ugly. Kinda nice. And that sickens me. Evil marble it is. Yeah, okay, I can live with that. Wait, I can't take this stunning design outside, can I? Aw, oh, looks like the outside world is immune to us painting it. That's okay, there's still stuff to do in here. Hey, look at that, and we already got an award. Worst- Oh, <laughs> worst ingredients in town. Worst ingredients in- We just started, and you're already doing well at being horrible. Town. Hold your horses, game. We're not even open yet. Anyway, next thing we need to do is furnish this place. We're gonna start with some chairs. Ugh, look at some of this really cozy stuff. Like, look at this vintage sofa. Ugh, you would look so cozy right up against this wall. Or yeah, it actually makes the place look pretty normal. Even, ugh, look at this comfortable seat. This comfortable seat called... You know, never mind. <laughs> It's the perfect one. And I'm glad the chair likes seniors, though. And <laughs> 
I don't, I don't know if that's how it works. Who doesn't really? Anyway, we're gonna go with this piece of crap. The cheap chair. The price is right and the style points are zero. That makes it perfect for us. Oh God, and if we make it the same color as the floor, you almost can't actually see the chair. <laughs> but I wanna go with a different vibrant color of neon green. It's like we're on a blue screen and a green screen at oh, the no. same time. And also that icon is trying to tell me that it's not close enough to a table. Because if we put a table close enough, it stops crying and we can't have that. And it doesn't really matter all that much because when you exit out of this menu, it goes away anyway. I mean, it still tries to nag you, but that's not gonna stop us. Well, if you're so precious about stuff being close to the chairs, how about we just get it all cozy with other chairs? Oh, wow, that's pretty <laughs> close. I like what I'm seeing. What about if we flip it around the other direction? How close can this get? Not that close as it turns out. However, if we rotate the chair like this, Oh, no, no. This, we can get a little bit closer. Wait, I think I figured something out. Okay, so check this out. If I try to bring this too close, it obviously doesn't let me. But while I'm this close, if I then rotate... <gasps> no, 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 no. This is cursed. No, don't do it. Ta-da. You can overlap chairs just like that. Okay, let's rethink this whole design. So we've got the one chair, and then we've got other chair that we're then gonna rotate into perfection. Oh, no. Good. Oh, my God, and it lets you get so close now. I'm so so oh happy God. about this. Who needs tables when you're gonna have- You're making a cursed table out of chairs. Each other's legs. Oh, we can put them along the side here, too. No. There we go. Oh. I just oh. hope it works, but I guess we'll find out soon oh. enough. I especially love all the polygons fighting- Actually, that could be art. Did you, did you, did you accidentally make art? For space. Well, that should about do it for furniture. Now it's time for employment. Look at all these amazing qualified candidates. I especially like Ann Turner. Age 25. Character trait, pessimism. Salary, <laughs> $19 a day. And what's really getting her the job is her proficiency with coffee, milk, art, and speed are all very poor. You're hired. Oh my God. And we can pay her <laughs> even less. $8 a day it is then. All right, let's get you on the schedule. Let's see. You prefer eating. Evening. So let's give you the very flexible shift of 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. Oh I bet you can't wait to work. Now that we've figured out employment, it's time for the most fun part of all. The drink menu. Aw, game, it's real cute that you think I would have stuff like regular items. And yeah, it gives us a couple of items to start off, like espresso, and we can add a cappuccino. But like, who's gonna order that? That's snooty garbage. Instead, we're <laughs> gonna make our own coffee in the coffee editor. We'll start with the very oh, no. basic 300 milliliter cup for now, and let's name our coffee. Toilet water. Although it's probably not going to look like water, so we can't really do that. So how about toilet contents? <laughs> Much better. Oh boy, here we go. Over here is where we make- Oh god, what is he going to make? Make our actual drinks, apparently. We got all the greats. Espresso, cold brew, and it just keeps going, too. We've got all kinds of milk, all kinds of unlockable milk. Oh boy, and a bunch of syrups, too. Oh, and the fun doesn't stop there. Look at this, we have all kinds of ice cream. Ooh, and extras, too. Heavy cream, eggnog, honey. This is actually kind of pleasant. What else do we have? have special ingredients like fish sauce mayonnaise what uh oh no no he's gonna play with that now aren't you you're you're gonna put mayonnaise in the coffee aren't you you're gonna put mayonnaise in it i, I can feel it oh well at least there's light mayonnaise you know for the health conscious coffee drinker no but really who's putting mayonnaise in coffee that is utterly disgusting let's yeah but you're gonna do it aren't you at it right now yeah yeah that's what i thought <laughs> Only 25 milliliters? I don't think so. Give me the full 75. Oh okay, God. we're doing great so far. Prep time is only eight seconds, you know, to throw a dollop of mayo in there. And it's a whopping 509 calories. And also, wow. if you look over here in market research, we have eight different groups, all with their own preferences. And right now, nobody's happy. So let's add some other stuff to see if we can pique their interest. Oh, definitely the mint syrup, right? Oh, oh God, it's... Oh, uh, uh. Syrup and mayonnaise? So awful. And Mint and mayonnaise. Why? Let's see. Let's add in some soy milk. Hot and cold. Oh, oh why? Of course we're appealing to the kids. <laughs> Good. The kids and the students like it now. You know how kids and students are? They can't get enough of their cold, hot, mint soy latte with mayo. And let's top it off with a big helping of ice cubes. Yummy. And I gotta be honest, I feel like toilet contents is the perfect name for it. Now it's time for some toppings. And I don't know about you, but I always crave a little whipped cream on top of my ice. <laughs> and unfortunately, we haven't unlocked sprinkles, but we do have blueberries. I ask you, does it get any better than this? The answer is yes, it does, because you can add more blueberries. How many blueberries? How many? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. <gasps> He answered my question. Yes. Yeah, I kept adding them until I can't see it adding more, so I don't know if it's doing it. It is making this delightful noise still. And we'll go ahead and... 
Oh god. Finish that off with a nice raspberry macaroon on the side, and not to mention one of these weird looking little stick things. Look at that, you can't even tell it's swarming with mayo and soy milk. <laughs> Is that how you're gonna deceive them? They're gonna be like, oh, this looks so pleasant, and then they're gonna eat it and be like, Bleh. Ah, the perfect drink. Only costs a little over $4 to make and contains a whopping 1,200 calories. Damn. And save. Okay, so let's take espresso off the menu and let's add toilet contents. Yeah. Now, we're not ready to go with it quite yet. You see how it's in red? That's because there's a bunch of items that we need for it that we don't have. Because right now, our coffee shop is stocked with nothing. And that's where supplies come into play. So I know it doesn't have coffee beans, but we're going to order some anyway. And ordering one unit of 500 grams will be delivered for 489 in three hours or instantly for 250 whoa what the heck or excuse me oops all poison is a family establishment we're not made of money i'll just wait the three hours thank you and now we wait i mean i think not really sure where they're gonna show up what are they gonna do just like knock on the door <laughs> oh wait what how did that get there hang on let's order a couple more things so we can see that again well, yeah, of course. Delivered straight from heaven to my coffee shop. <laughs> oh, wait, I see what's happening here. Everything's getting delivered by drone, but I guess- I was like, it seems like the, the instant delivery is like Amazon on steroids. That's the process at work for you. Really gives us a nice taste of what our dystopian future is gonna be like. <laughs> and what a beautiful stack of organized boxes you've left for me. Also, my God, be careful on that street over there. Look how fast those cars are going. Yep, no turn signal, no stopping, no problem. Oh, all right, let's get all this stuff inside. Thank you, random citizens for not stealing things. Ah, and there's the last of our ingredients. And as an added bonus, our employee is here to work. There you go. Drunkenly wander your way in. Hey, and look at that. Toilet contents isn't red anymore. Now we can make seven whole cups of this. Something tells me I underordered, so we're gonna go ahead and add espresso back to the menu. Just to give people two whole options. Oh, but you know what? Let's edit this recipe a little bit. I mean, look how sad that looked. Oh, God. What are you gonna do now? So let's at least make it worth people's time and money by making it a triple shot with a glorious 220 22 milligrams. Oh god, how many how many milligrams of caffeine can a person have before you like give them a heart attack? The caffeine. But more importantly, we're gonna change the name. Oh god, my heart palpitations. <laughs> and save. Okay, I think we're about ready to go. We got a drink menu. We've got a board employee. Let's do it. Let's open the doors. Oh my god, and we have our first customer already. Hello and welcome to Oops All Poison. Ah, I didn't realize you would just say the words out loud, but it makes sense now that I think about it, which obviously Ann Turner here knew what that was, because she's a barista. Oh boy, here we go. Are you going to use the- <laughs> What is she going to do? The seats. Oh yeah. <laughs> Perfectly, absolutely normal. I'm happy to see the- My dog needed attention for a little bit. I am back. Let's rewind a little bit. Oh yeah. Perfectly, absolutely normal. I'm happy to see that you're enjoying your delicious cup of mayo and soy. <laughs> also, what is this arrow that keeps pointing to this X2 here? Okay, wait, so I have a 2X multiplier. Buy more decoration and collect more style points to increase your money multiplier. The higher it is, the more money you earn with each coffee sold. How does that work? You know what that reminds me of? What kind of cup you put a liquid in actually affects how it tastes. Like if a glass seems very fancy and we drink something normal like water out of it, we actually perceive the water as something that tastes better than if it was in a plain cup. So if you put coffee in a fancier cup, or if you even put customers in a fancier environment, they will perceive the food and drink that that restaurant serves as more satisfying, more tasty, simply because it's in an environment that's aesthetically pleasing and that affects how we experience things, which is really interesting. So hang on, are you telling me that if I get my style up to 10, my money multiplier becomes three and I have six style points right now. So it looks like if we go to our decorations, each and every item has style points. So this lamp that costs $56 has three style points, which isn't too bad considering if we get to 10, we get a 3x multiplier. I gotta admit though, I don't really understand the logic of the style points. Like this lamp is $56 and gives you three style points, but this little pot is $60 and it only gives us one style point. Okay, wait, so there's got to be like a sweet spot here, right? Mm -hmm. Found mm -hmm. it. Napkin holders. One style point for $2. Now that's a return on investment I can respect. Okay, so I can't put them on the ground, at least out here. And I also can't place it on the floor. Oh, I see. It goes on counters and stuff. Oh, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but as we were messing around, our one employee went home. I guess her shift is over or something. That's okay. We'll bring her back when we're done here. But it looks like we can put it on, like, surfaces and stuff. And if we put down a couple of more, now we have 13 style points. And while we do have a 3x money multiplier, we only need 20. 
20 to get to times four. Strap in all you napkins because you're about <laughs> to get held. That's right. We're going to do it of holding for a lifetime. Oh Look at that. We're already at 40. Oh my god, this this is so smart. Four? For a time six multiplier? When does it end? Only 80? Everything is in our grasp. Time to put these things anywhere they're gonna- f You're gonna be a napkin shop. Fit. Okay, so I managed to stack enough of these napkin things to reach 500 style points. What a beauty they all are. I think you're supposed to use this space for, like, merchandise and stuff. But who doesn't need more napkins? Besides, look at that. Now that we have 500 style points, we get a 15x multiplier on everything people buy. Oh, and it looks like that's the end. We did it. We're at the highest possible money multiplier. All that and we've sold wow. three whole coffees. Now just one problem. We don't have a barista here anymore. I can't access the schedule, which leads me to believe she quit. Can't imagine why. <laughs> Of course. Her character trait was pessimism. So let's see. Let's pick someone else. Christina. Character trait optimism. No. Jennifer Turner. Character trait charisma. No. Ava Rogers. Character trait sensitivity. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but everybody else has that trait. So we'll go with Rebecca Brown because their asking salary is lower than everybody else's. And whoa there, cowboy. I know we hired you for $28 a day, but let's go middle of the road on this one and drop it down to $26 a day. Thanks for joining us. It's going to be a really great time. Yeah, that's the spirit. Make your delicious drinks. See, now there's a happy customer. I like how okay. this woman is sitting over here with a camera on a lanyard around her neck, probably staring at this menu. <laughs> It's the only thing she can look at. Being like, why is all this stuff listed if it's not on the menu? Because we have delicious treats like this. That's why. Just enjoy the atmosphere. Oh, God, what's up with his shoulders? God, did you see that? When he bought that coffee, we made like $93 off of it. We're selling this thing for $6. What sense does this even make? He does not look okay, and I think it might be because of what he's drinking. Also, why are you holding your arm like that? Are you on an invisible date? Wait a second. <laughs> Could fake date turn into real date? Ah, oh, and they're ordering the old, oh, God, my heart palpitatio NS. I guess I made <laughs> that one a little too long. No problem. Easy fix. Make my heart hurt. Ah. Okay, yeah, that's my much better. $45? Where does it even come from? Oh my god. I guess he's on a date now. Oh yeah, this is a good first date. Here comes the airplane. Mmm. <laughs> nice to see her holding hands, kind of, while you enjoy your beverages together. Okay, well, I guess that day was short-lived. Uh, sir, what is this? Did you just leave your garbage here? Good for you, citizen. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd the barista go? What do you mean you went home because your shift is over? Wait, can I just take this thing and then just drag it so you have to come back to work? When the clock hits 11 p.m., is she gonna come back? <laughs> Oh. oh my god, she does. Oh, that's so sad. Hey, it worked. I bet you didn't even have time to change out of your work clothes. Okay, this is great and all, but this is a little too cozy of a coffee shop for me. I don't want to just have one person here at a time. After all, there's enough seats for eight. Oh my goodness, what's happening to you? Why are there flies buzzing around you? Oh yeah, that guy's trash. Well, I'm glad you're okay with it sitting right behind... <laughs> All of that from one cup of coffee? Thank you. Flies and all. But let's see if we can find a way to get more clientele in here. So first, let's make a couple of drinks. And we're going to name this one. Hey, you. Destroy my taste buds. Don't worry. I've got you covered. So we're going to start with a little butter, followed by a little mayo, and then uh -huh. another round of butter, and then some more mayo. Look at that. We're already off to a great start. 100 milliliters of liquid, 696 calories. That'll God. impress them. And now for some mm. mint syrup, and lemon syrup, and chocolate chocolate syrup, and uh. raspberry syrup. I really want the mint to pop, though, so we're gonna add a little bit more than normal for that one. And we're gonna heat it up with- This is so gross. This- If you want to throw up instantly, this is it. This- this is how you do it. With some hot water. Is this even a beverage at this point? Let's just throw some hot milk foam right on top. And now it's time to make that latte art. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of templates already. Oh, no, 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 you- We- we can't- This- Will not do. This won't do. We have to write a pessimistic message on their coffee. We need to show them what liquid suffering looks like. Already? Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. And there's other stuff like the flower, or wheat, or a round leaf, or we can make our own. Okay, let's see, how does this work? Oh wow, this worked better than I thought it would. And you can smear it to give it that special look that everyone loves. Who knew that oh. making latte art was so <laughs> easy? Okay, so let's try and do this for real. Let's see, so first 
we'll do a line like that. Maybe something a little like this. Okay, it's looking good. And then a little you. Okay. Really <laughs> stretch my creative muscles with this one. Either way, I think this drink is perfect. Bag it and tag it and it's ready to go. Oh dear, and this item is definitely not ready for prime time. Not only do we need to pick up some extra syrups, but we also need a milk frother. I'm sorry, am I going senile? That is literally a milk frother. In fact, she's literally frothing milk right now. What kind of coffee shop is this? Oh, it's this kind of coffee shop where we just sit in this growing pile of trash. But fine, whatever. This one says it doesn't have milk frothers. Fine. We'll go to the next model up. There, now it's a resounding yes. Thank God for the leading brand of Smig. There you go. Look at your new equipment. I can tell you're thrilled. Excuse me, now is not the time to go off duty. Little does she know she's about to pick up another shift. She literally just walked out the door. Let's see how she deals with this. <laughs> Okay, she just vanishes and then stumbles out of the alleyway. Hey, I don't care if you're in a th Oh, man. Oh, this is sad. ...serial being, so long as you make it to your shift. Yeah, good job, Rebecca. That's... Oh, she's sad now. ...really gonna do it. That despondent look always brings in the customers. <laughs> and now for the missing ingredient, marketing. Okay, let's see. We're gonna market to all of these different categories. And we can't afford it to run for 10 days, but I bet we can afford one day. Good enough for me. Oh, my God. We have a line forming. Also, why are you all surrounded in, like, a torrent of little camera icons? It must be from my marketing campaign. Okay, let's play a little game here. See this person right here? How old do we think they are? 20? 25? 45? Wrong. They're nine years old. What the heck? That is not... That is not a nine-year-old. It's confirmed. Children in this game are just tiny adults. Okay, well, we can confirm the marketing <laughs> campaign is working, because look at all these people coming in. Wait a minute. Instead of running one campaign for multiple days that costs a whole lot of money, can I just run multiple campaigns for one day at the same time? Looks like the answer is yes. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Look at all these people showing up. All Whoa. All of them with a shroud of being brainwashed by advertising. Everybody, come on in. Oh, God, where's our person? Where's Rebecca? This marketing campaign is falling apart. Oh, God, wait. Did she Did she quit? Did she quit? Part. What do you mean she quit? All right, fine. I knew it. I knew it. Listen, bro, you can't call someone into work right after they started going home and expect them to keep on working, you know? Everyone's got their limit. I was expecting that. Especially when she started going despondent. I was like, mm, yeah, she's not going to last very long. And let's hire someone else. Paul Mitchell, you're going in. Look at this. This person's even ordering before you're there. Oh, God, I hope at least some of these people go ahead and take a seat in this cockpit for eight. Okay, here comes one person who's going to be brave enough to join her. Come on, come on, finish your coffee. Why are you so slow. Oh, looks like we have a contender. Ah, uh, strangers no more. <laughs> Forever sharing their love of coffee and surrounded in obnoxious little camera things. Okay, we need to speed up the pace here. So let's hire all of these people and let's make sure to put them all on the same shift. Ah, here they are right now. And then wandering around like zombies. Excuse me, what are you doing? Are you just horsing around on your phone? Keep up the good work. You're the smart one. Oh, I guess you can only have like three people on shift at a time or something. But the important part is the line is going much faster now and thus our seating is becoming more in in his lap. I can't tell if Wolverine here is horrified or happy about this. He went from like angry to sad to just confused. See, this is much better. Look how many people are sharing this communal seating. I especially like this woman. In oh my God, they're like surrounding him. <laughs> Oh my god, they're just like staring him down. Back right here. She just wants to be involved. Well, so far this is working out pretty well. Everyone seems to be accepting this setup just fine with new people being added all the time. I know when <laughs> I've been to a coffee shop, I feel like the one thing I'm missing is being able to smell everybody else's breath. Okay, so I was taking a look at my menu ratings over here. And while we're nice and popular with the seniors and the tourists, we could really stand to make all these other groups like us a little more. So it's making another drink time. Let's go for the tall cup. And instead of looking at all this market, research. Let's just start adding a little bit of everything and see if this strikes their fancy. So here we go. Oh no. Cold milk and hot milk and steamed milk and soy and milk foam and more soy. And as I go, I'm smooshing down the layers to make room for more layers. Too many layers? Well, look how low the cup is. Well, at least the hip- <laughs> Oh man, I bet if you made that a coffee, it would be so disappointing. Just like an inch at the bottom of the cup. Hipsters love it. I bet if we give them more soy, they'll love it even more. Oh my god, of course. Yeah, there we go. As expected. Oh, you know what I actually realized? Like, sure, I could continue to make my own latte art, which does feel very satisfying, but it turns out I suck at making latte art. So instead of making a mess like this, it turns out we can just put our own images into a folder and it'll oh. import them right into the game. So I asked the internet for something painfully hipster-like. 
Yeah, I bet that stupid bike and that stupid hat and what looks to be a stupid coat. I bet it all does it for you, doesn't it? I love Wes Anderson films. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let the revolution begin. Nice suspenders, you dork. You know, I don't know if I'll ever get tired with how weird this looks and wildly inappropriate for a coffee shop. Oh, did you run out of beard oil? Well, thanks for coming by anyway. I like how now it's just all hipsters coming in. And I think maybe the same ones. They just can't get enough of that Wes Anderson coffee and then an intimate space to talk about it. Yeah, you drink those fancy drinks while you recreate the pottery scene from Ghost. Okay, our line management's getting a little bit heinous. People are getting confused. Something tells me our people are str- Oh no, wait. Is the coffee machine smoking? Rest. Whatever, I'm sure it's fine. Why do you have your hands behind your back at the cash register? What are you, a butler? I also couldn't help but notice that no one's sitting down. Everybody's getting everything to go. And I finally realized why that is. I think my trash pile has- Bro. Hit a fever. Now the logo of the restaurant matches what's inside. The pitch. Something about these icons and this toxic cloud, as well as the skull and crossbones. I don't get it. People just don't want to sit here, I guess. That's okay. We'll just put down some more chairs. So let's put one right here in front of the door. Now you can observe while people come in and out. Yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> You're doing great. And we'll put one right here. Oh my God, why does it let me put a chair back here? Well, I'm not going to question it. I just really hope somebody sits there. Oh, so far I like the chairs of- Now people can people watch. Put down. It's so perfect for people watching. You have That's what I just said. Oh, bro, bro. Whoa, that was really good timing. Your choice of being in the way or creepily facing the bathroom. But I think we can all agree that this is the best seat in the house. Where you just sit behind the counter, completely in the way of people just trying to make some drinks as you snort the cup into your nose. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, I think, I think she has a, a caffeine addiction. God, look at this brave soul. I was here before it was cool to be radioactive. Shockingly, <laughs> despite all this floor space, the game actually won't let me place chairs down in any of this area, no matter how much rotating I do. Oh, this is another good seat too. You know, where you get to just observe the outside world. It's an especially unique seat because I really shoved it close to the wall. You know, when you people watch with your legs just jutting out of the storefront. That's okay though, because I realized something else. We can put chairs out here. We can't go past oh. this line, nor can we put stuff right in the entryway. But that's okay, there's still plenty of space. I also learned that if you actually do put a table down, when people sit down to enjoy their delicious coffee, when they leave their trash, they put it on the table instead of on the chairs. That means unlike oh. ground zero in here, where they just left all their crap on the chairs and now nobody can sit there. This remains beautiful, usable real estate. And thank God she sips from her cup and then shoves it into this trash. There we go, look at that <laughs> horrible disarray. I'm sure you're enjoying your coffee and also your knee that's wedged into the table. As you stare off at these buildings, and the horrible smoggy sky. So how about something nicer for people to look at? I actually know this cat. This is Stash. There we go. How eclectic of us. Look at these amazing conversation pieces. But there's something much more exciting at play here than just having space for people to sit. Because over a long enough period of time, this happens. Full-blown radiation. Oh, God. ...situation. These front seats have all become a beautiful, toxic art installation. Nobody's allowed to sit here, but that's okay. Is this commentary on capitalism? Okay, because there are still some seats where people can sit. I like that if I click on them, it shows me their little portrait, and you can just see all the fumes engulfed in your <laughs> face. How does paradise taste? Presumably like a whole lot of garbage. But hey, when you need your coffee, you need your coffee. But now it's time for one last thing. You remember our package drop-off spot? I've been thinking about it this whole time, and I just have to know, is there a limit to how many packages we can order? And all I can say- Oh my god. Is he gonna block traffic with these boxes? Is it's time to find out. So I'm just gonna order one of literally everything. We don't need a lot of supplies, we just need a lot of boxes. So hopefully this helps do the trick. Oh, watch your head, buddy! That was a close one. Okay, I'm getting really excited for the process. Well, no one seems that concerned yet. They're just navigating around the boxes, completely unconcerned about about cars and stuff. I like how this lady's like, well, time to go to work. Oh, I think they just blocked the passage. <laughs> well, guess I'm calling in sick. Okay, so it's been about an hour now. Box pile is still growing. Cafe in the background still radioactive. So far, so good. Yep, it's been another hour. Now we're enduring this amazing noise. Also, everybody oh. else is just as confused, especially with this me- Oh, you've broken everyone! The crowd's broken! An amorphosis happening right in front of them. Okay, so I've got some good news and I've got some bad <laughs> news. The good news is that our box pile is absolutely amazing. <laughs> the bad news is this is about as big as it gets before the game crashes. Also, amazingly, everything uh... has gone to hell inside the coffee shop. See, I thought you would actually block traffic, but the cars go right through the boxes. Dang it. Yeah. There's toxic fumes everywhere. This woman's been trying to order coffee forever and nobody's here. There's a terrifying wall of boxes right outside the window. <laughs> also, as I'm sure you can see,
these cars absolutely don't care. Just a minor inconvenience for them. But here's the really good news. It turns out if I pause the game and then hit play again really fast, here's what the boxes do. What? Ah. Whoa, that's so cool. Ah, uh, and I can just keep doing it too. Nature is healing. And I'm so glad that this woman is still not concerned. She's just annoyed <laughs> she can't get her Wes Anderson coffee, even though it's not her favorite. I want to thank Opera GX again for sponsoring. That's really beautiful. This video is free to download and you can check it out for yourself using my linky in the description. So I hope you had fun. <laughs> I know I did. And I'll see you next time. I feel like the moral of the story is that you can start a business and be horrible at it, but you can still be successful as long as you dump a bunch of money in marketing.